What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Satisfactory. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day and a fantastic evening. Now, I know this episode is late, and I do apologize. I got kind of busy with other stuff. You know, just life stuff got in the way. So, enjoy the later episode. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys do enjoy, definitely leave a like. Show your support. Comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. And what is going on here? Oh, I built this as a testing platform. Anyways, hey, it's back and it's not red. I know, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is there, but it's <laughs> it's not red. Um, anyways, if you guys are interested in the game, you want to check it out, you want to buy, purchase it by yourself or for yourself, links down below. It goes to the Epic Game Store. It does support me. It shoots a little bit back towards my way. So thank you guys in advance in case you do do that. Anyways, what are we doing? We are going to get our box site mine actually like up and running semi. So I want to get, let's just go through the list here. Let's get some things. Oh, logistics. Wait a second. Didn't we unlock minor mark three is not yet okay so i want two minor mark ones because there's two of them over there and then i'm not actually sure what we decided we were going to do from there so i think what we're going to do we're going to get the stuff to do those um i have a bunch of random stuff in my inventory and i don't like it i do not like it we might just drop it off somewhere for now but I want to get the train line ran out and another oh train station we need a train station because the train station is actually what provides us power on the other side. And we're gonna have to have a train over there anyways. So uh, let's go ahead and get a train station. We already have the things for a train station. That's fantastic. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a fun filled episode. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let's get rocking and rolling. So first order of business is to make four portable miners that I was just next to the thing for, darn it. Wait a second. Where's the workshop? Haven't I done this before? I feel like I've done, I like do this every single time. Equipment workshop. How come you're not you should just be right there that's fine <laughs> where is the equipment where i have no idea anyways okay uh portable minor three no darn it I, <laughs> I am running a little low on plates i see so let's go ahead we'll throw the computers in here we'll throw the high high value items in there let's go and sort that bad boy again um i think i'm gonna need these i know for a fact i'm gonna need this what else do i need uh let's throw the slugs in there real quick we'll throw we'll keep this i don't need the beacons i don't need the quartz right now i don't think i need oh you know what let's also make a train uh yeah let's just make a train for now i'm not gonna connect it i'm not gonna connect it into my other train line just yet we'll get there okay look at that just <laughs> one of those so I need these beacons back and I need computers back. <laughs> Darn it. Uh, I shouldn't, I do need fuel because I have a jet. Actually, yeah, we'll take it. Oh, golly, I don't need those, those, that, these. All right, so we need some plating and some more of the modular frames. Let's go run and grab some of those real quick. And then I got to grab a whole bunch of beams and a whole bunch of tubes, if I'm not mistaken, right? Because that's what we need. Beams and steel pipe, whatever it's called. Need that to run all the way over the, actually, we honestly might have enough. It doesn't use quite as much as I thought it would. Mm, we'll grab some anyways. And we are ready to go. Okay, so I was actually kind of thinking about this. So some people were commenting, they're like, oh, you know, if you have a train track that long, the train's not gonna be fast enough, all this stuff. So a couple options I'm thinking here. Let me know what you guys think down below, comments. Should we incorporate this all into one track and just have two trains on it that are exactly the same? Roughly, you know, like opposite from each other. So. Like one will be halfway and then the other one will be doing halfway. So we could have two trains on one track. I don't think that'd be an issue. Or we could just have one train on this one going back and forth to box site. Because I mean, it is quite a ways over there. So I don't really know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. I'm curious. And we're going to get this railway set up, hopefully all the way over here. You know what I just realized? We didn't power this thing. <laughs> that would be terrible. We would get all the way over there. We wouldn't even have power anyways. Oh, okay, we gotta we got to do that. All right, power is secured. We're good to go. Let's get this bad boy finished. It's gonna be a little, it's gonna be a little ways out there, but I think we'll be all right. All right, so this could be a small problem. Apparently this is too, <laughs> apparently this is too steep for a tray to go figure. Uh, I was really hoping we'd be able to just, you know, make it up the hill but uh this doesn't appear as though we're gonna have to do that so we're gonna have to get a little bit creative here grab these guys and possibly oh geez how are we gonna do this i just i assumed it'd be okay all right so we finally got up this huge hill now the issue is that i have to do this exact same thing going down so that's gonna be a pain and i also removed these just because it looked kind of weird with the uh the track here but we can get most of the way back down here now 
and hopefully not have to worry about this too much. All right, I finally got it over here. It was a kind of a pain. Um, did not realize that those slopes would not work like that. So now I know, uh, now you guys know. So it's kind of a little roller coaster of a train deal, but you know what it is, what it is. So let's get this guy uh, kind of over here. Now I gotta make sure that we can get this. I wanna get it like coming in straight right here kind of like this it's not quite straight though is the problem you know what let's get the uh let's get a train station put up here and then we'll kind of we'll connect it that way so we need train station but the train station itself is going to be going this way and then we'll probably just have it kind of like over here maybe maybe right there I feel like I should have brought the stuff to build some of these empty platforms for now. Yeah, I probably should have. Oh, well, it's it's fine. It's fine. And then boom, connect that like that. Awesome. Awesome. This should have power and we shouldn't have to worry about that now, hopefully. So let's see here. We'll, we're just going to connect power like right here. This guy to this guy and power. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hey, man's dudes. Come on. All right. So let's get production no Pro yeah production and then uh, two of these guys so we have one there and wasn't there one yeah one there okay so we're gonna shoot these out how do i want to do these ones i think we might bring them down this way and then like that way and bring it on that side that way the finished products can kind of come up somewhere wherever uh well those are connected so that's good now i do have those stupid things down there and i only have one medical inhaler left oh this is terrible all right, we're going to go. We're going to go bashing. All right, so those guys appear to be taken care of. No, uh, no more bad hombres. For now, anyways. <laughs> and then we're going to want to connect those. Probably bring them in over here somewhere, and then kind of figure out what we're doing with that. Uh, we do have an electric lo locomotive we can build, so we get back and forth from here a little bit quicker than than what we just did. And we're going to build that locomotive now. That way, I don't accidentally build stuff that requ that's required for this guy so let's see okay the constructor i don't think there's anything required for this guy let's see any aluminum stuffs uh i don't see yeah i don't see anything in here that requires aluminum so we can take that guy out and then you know what let's just take the train back because i don't have the stuff to build anything anyways and we'll kind of figure out what we're gonna do from here so we should be able to drive this guy backwards if i'm not mistaken perfect you know here i thought i was gonna have this beautiful nice straight train track and then i had to go and do this <laughs> you know what's crazy though is like it almost it yeah it's just the wrong angle <laughs> and we're back at home <gasps> wonderful all right so let's just stop this guy in here it doesn't really matter where it's at and let's go grab some stuff i want to see what we're actually going to be building here and where i'm going to need to move resources to and from all right so the assembler what do we need Okay, the aluminum. So we need aluminum ingots. All right, that's right. So we need that. And then aluminum ingots are required. So we have to make for the alkalite aluminum sheet. We have to make, uh, did we have to use refiners? Is that what we were having to use? Ah, it was refiners. Okay, advanced refinement aluminum. So we need the bauxite and the water. And then that'll give us the aluminum solution. So this poses the question is if we should bring the raw bauxite here and then deal with it, or can we deal with it over there? Because it requires 10 water. And I don't know if we can, do I have the stuff to build a water pump? I do. Let's go see if we can find any water sources over there. Cause that's going to be heavily dependent if we can do anything. And I actually don't think the refiners can fit under the area that I put them in. Maybe we should just bring the raw, the raw bauxite back here and just do everything here. That might be, hmm, I don't know. It seems kind of silly just to have it go a train <laughs> for the raw bauxite. I mean. I guess it's not that silly you know i think we're gonna bring bauxite back here i think that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna we're just gonna bring the raw bauxite back here and uh we'll set up some stuff here we have a lot of water and a lot of tappable areas so i i wouldn't see why not we could just bring it back here we could set up a little area right under here underneath of me and then that would allow us to drop the bauxite directly down there and do the stuff however we're gonna need a lot of resources because those minor mark twos uh, we actually might need, are we going to need four containers full? I'm just trying to think how fast the container is going to fill up. I don't think we will. I think it'll be okay. You know, I don't really know. 
All right, so we got this guy back here. How much can you hold? Okay, so these can hold quite a bit. How much are these going to actually produce is the question. Now, I need, I'm trying to decide if I should have two or if I should only have one. I think one would pro. Oh, it's a lizard doggo. Oh, he's so cute. We love lizard doggos. Okay, so let me get this guy connected up to here and then let's get the power hooked back up um i don't know i think one would probably be okay to be completely honest now i'm also curious if i'm able to automate this with uh you know what let's put a power line down here then we'll put one like right here and we'll connect these to these like that so how much are the because i think these were normal modes if i'm not mistaken yeah these are only gonna do 60 per minute so 60 and 60 this should be 60 as well probably oh this is 120. Ooh, hold on a second do we have any other good better veins here one two okay there's no other ones down here all right so these two so 120 and 60s we're gonna be getting 180 per minute uh these are miners mark twos 180 per minute. i don't think that's gonna be an issue to be honest i think it's gonna be just fine so let's do this let's get some production stuff going here mark minor mark five my goodness i love it already so let's get this down in here and i don't think we can build any more oh what i know i can build these here all right so let's put these right here for now uh and then do i have stuff for storage okay so let's do this let's get this guy kind of lined up maybe you know what it's time for the chainsaw it is time for the chainsaw. Come here, man. You're gone. Ta-da! Let's get this one out, too. I don't have, like... No, I don't have any fuel. Why won't you run on actual gas? Why can't you be like a normal chainsaw and run on actual gas? You know what I mean? Super weird. All right. <gasps> Look at the cute little lizard dog. Oh, he's just so cute. All right. So let's get these lined up. I wish it would say if it's lined up. I can't even... I can't even tell, really. I think that's good. And then let's get some logistics in here. Let's get this to here. Fantastic. So that should be going in. Wonderful. And I honestly, I don't think we're going to get backed up. So I'm just going to get a Mark four. How much can you move? 120? Actually, that's plenty. That's as, that's as much as that can handle for now. And that's way more than this can handle right now. So we'll just grab these and bring them up. Throw them into there. We should be seeing some box that come rolling in. Fantastic. Now we got to get back up there. All right, so Boxite is rolling in, and my train, I discombobulated it. And I don't think I have the stuff for a train car, if I'm not mistaken, actually. Let's see, do we have a train car, freight car? Oh, we do have a freight car. All right, so let's get one freight car in here, and then this is going to be loading. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and name this Boxite. Fantastic. And let's see if we can just have one train go back and forth. It should. It shouldn't be an issue. Let's let's find out here. Okay, if I pull this into here. All right, slowly. All right, so there's that. Now, configure train, train station timetable, locomotive, autopilot on, no timetable, create a timetable. Okay, all right. Turn it off. There. Dock. Timetable. Add. Main hub 2. Next stop. After that, it's going to go to box site. There. Should be good. Next stop, main hub two. Let's turn it on. And then we'll have to figure out the other side. Train station, timetable. This one. Autopilot on. Oh, it is unreachable to the next stop. So we are going to have to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Because that means it's going to be turned around when it goes to the next train station. So I don't think I can make another electric locomo locomotive. <gasps> I cannot. We need another ele electric locomotive to go on the other side of this if we want to do that. You know what? Let's let's get this. Let's just make a roundabout. And then we'll make a roundabout the other side as well. And hope for the best. All right. So roundabout has been created. I bet you that guy's going to take off now. Or it's not going to be reachable because it's going to be going the wrong direction. So we're gonna have to add a loop de loop on the other side. Is that what the deal is right now? I bet you it is. Timetable. Unable to reach next stop. Yep, it has to be going the right direction. All right, so we will just drive it ourselves. Okay, turn autopilot off and let's go. Let's go. Why are you not going? Come on, man. Like, let's let's do this. There we go. Wait, what? It doesn't wanna go straight. All right, there we go. Okay, I don't know what the deal was there. <laughs> so. We'll get this guy over there. We're gonna have to throw another loop on the other side. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. We could put another train. 
I could put a train station on the other side going the other direction but honestly I, I prefer the loops I mean I'm not gonna lie I think it just makes it easier for me so then I don't have to worry about like you know which this side train has to go from this direction to this direction and then the other other side of the train has to go from this direction to this you know what I mean all right so now we have to mess with this side and we have to get a loop in here so we could either go this way around or that way around and I can already tell you right now it's probably gonna cause an issue actually it's not because we can disassemble two of these train stations because I think we're just gonna go with a single one for now uh, again, these are all work in progresses just until we can get everything created and made. And then we're probably gonna go back through, redo a lot of this. So it looks a little bit nicer and a little bit better, but this should work. Let's go. I already have stuff out going this way. Let's go this way around. All right. So there's that. And then if we flip it this way, we should come in and go around the other direction. Let's see if this works. Perfect. Okay. So now we should be able to turn the automation on and this guy should run without even a worry all right let's go ahead timetable this guy autopilot on and it's going she's going people <laughs> my train okay so this is going to be unloading so let's make sure okay unloading fantastic it's gonna be coming out of this one right here <gasps> Ooh, i hope that's not in the way it probably is uh let's go ahead and do logistics let's get conveyor mark four and okay it will go down <gasps> Perfect. All right. So I think we're going to go down like right there ish. And then we're going to go into some storage, get some bauxite over here and then start the refining process. But that's going to be in the next episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Again, stream it on twitch.tv slash Z1 gaming and a special shout out to everybody who is supporting the channel. Absolutely everywhere. YouTube, Twitch and Patreon, of course, can help make the channel do the things that it can do because you guys are awesome. But uh, thank you guys so much for the views for the everything hopefully you enjoyed we're also doing arc if you guys want to check out some arc arc's fun it's a good time playing on the patreon server so check it out <laughs> but uh yes you guys have a wonderful day i'll see you in the next one